Welcome to the Feed for All Preferences Configuration Tutorial. For information on creating podcasts, please watch our podcasting tutorial. The first step is to run the program, so find the shortcut to Feed for All on your desktop and double click on it. When you first run the program, you'll see this splash image. If you would like to purchase the software, left click on the Buy Now option. If you have already purchased, please watch our Feed for All registration tutorial. To continue using the trial version, left click on Continue. Once in the program, go into your Tools menu and left click on Preferences. Here in the Preferences section, you'll notice that we have four major headings Current Feed, All Feeds, Spell Checking, and Miscellaneous. The current feed section shows the preferences for whatever feed you have selected from your feeds list. The all feeds section shows the global preferences for all feeds within the program. The spell checking section allows you to modify the spell checking preferences, and the miscellaneous section allows you to specify various global system preferences. To access your current feeds preferences, left click on the plus sign next to current feed, and you'll see these options expand. Remember, these options are only for the feed you currently have selected in your feeds list. The first option is Item Fields. If you want to standardize titles, descriptions, and other item fields for the current feed, you can do that here. The next option is Item Extensions. If you're using an extension or multiple extensions for your current feed, you can standardize those extensions here. In the Item Advanced section, you can leave XML comments that will appear in all items of the currently selected feed. And last, we have Smart Date. In this section, we can specify this feed's publication date, or we can specify the publication date of your current feed's items. If you want to have your current feed's global date preferences override the global all feeds setting, put a check in either of these checkboxes. The next major heading is the All Feeds Global Preferences. In the Feed Fields section, you can standardize the following fields across all of your feeds, both the ones you've created and the ones you will create. Next we have the Feed Extension section. In this section, you can standardize the following extension fields across all of your feeds, both the ones you have created and the ones you will create. Next we have the Feed Advanced. If you want to leave XML comments in all of your feeds, you can enter them here. Below that we have Item Fields. In this section, you can standardize the following fields for all of your items across all of your fields, both the ones you've created and the ones you will create. Next we have Item Extensions. In this section, you can standardize the following extension fields for all of your items across all of your feeds. Next we have Item Advanced. If you want to leave XML comments in all items of all of your feeds, you can enter them here. Below that we have Image Fields. If you want to use the same image for all of your feeds, you can enter the information for that image here. Next we have Image Extensions. To use the same image for all feed extensions, such as Dublin Core, you can enter the information for those images for the extensions here. Next we have Image Advanced. If your feed or all of your feeds require special code for your images, you can standardize that code and enter it here. Last we have Smart Date. These preferences affect the date and time that the program will use for all feeds and all items within your feeds. The next heading is Spell Checking. In this section, you should see the following checkboxes. If Enable Spell Checking is checked, the program will attempt to spell check your feeds and items. If this is unchecked, it will disable all spell checking within the program. If Enable Spell Checking is checked, you can choose your specific spell checking preferences. 
for example, such as ignoring words in uppercase, ignoring words with numbers, and ignoring URLs and email addresses. The last section is miscellaneous. The first option is Program Font. By default, the font for the program is MS Sans Serif, but you can change the font of the interface to any font in your drop-down list. Next is Validation Results. You can have the program either always show the validation results, only show errors, warnings, and repairs, only show errors and warnings, only show errors, or never show any validation results at all. Below that are these three checkboxes. The first is Disable Skins. If you don't want to use the custom appearance skins for Feed for All, put a check here. Next is Hide Paths in Feed List. If this is checked, the program will only show you the feed name instead of the full location and name of the feed. And last we have Add Break Line and Enter Statements in Description Fields. If this is enabled, the program will show you the code for any carriage returns or break line statements that you have entered. If this is disabled, it will not show you the code. After selecting your preferences, left click on the blue check mark in the upper left hand corner to save them. This concludes the tutorial on how to configure your preferences within Feed for All. For more tutorials, including how to create RSS feeds and podcasts, please visit our website, www.feedforall.com.